Hi, today I'm gonna to show you the pattern that I used to make um, a bracelet that looks like um, Snow White, the princess. So uh, here she is. To follow this video, you're going to need to know how to make a triple single, and you are going to double the amount of rubber bands on each column, but you're not going to double the triangles. I'm not gonna show you how to um, how to make the triple single again, so you're going to know how, have to know how to do that. You're also gonna have to know how to make the extension because I'm not gonna give it specific instructions for doing that either. Okay, so um, this is a little bit advanced, but if you uh, like the, um, the bracelets, um, some of the action figures people are making are really cool, but I tend to like the bracelets because you can wear them, and so here it is, enjoy. The next pattern I'm gonna show you is the one for the princess that resembles Snow White. Um, so again, you start with your uh, loom, the red arrow at the bottom, facing away from you, and you're going to do the same pattern on both sides and a different pattern in the middle. So here goes, one, two, three, four, black for the hair, one, two, three, four, the skin color, which I use the original neon orange, one blue, one red, and two more blue. Um, that's the dark, I think this is called navy, but it's the darkest blue um, that Rainbow Loom offers at the moment. Um, for the center, you're going to do two black for the hair, one, two, three, four of the um, skin color again, one red for the lips, and two more of the skin color, and then the rest blue, so three blue. Okay, then you do the other side the same as the first side, and um, that is the pattern for the princess that resembles Snow White, and I'll show you how I uh, finish her up after she's hooked when I come back. Okay, um, for Snow White, I, uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, attach the bottom of her dress. So, there she is off the loom, by the way, and I made her extension. Um, so, her dress skirt, we're gonna use yellow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take eight yellows, put two together, and at the bottom of each loop here, which actually, um, you're gonna need 12 yellows, I lied. So we're gonna do two at the bottom of each loop from the, so, and loop them on like that. Okay, so what you wanna do is you're gonna find the bottom of the loop band, like that, can you see? So there's one. And there's one, and you're just gonna attach with a slip knot, put your hook through, take two yellow bands, put them on your hook, pull them through like that, and then slip knot them on. Okay, like that, and you're gonna do that all the way along the bottom to make her a yellow skirt. You can snip the ends if you want or just leave them looped. I kind of like them looped, um, but you could always snip the ends. Um, and then we're gonna, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give her eyes. Um, I decided I wanted to use eyes. These are, I think they're six millimeter black beads um, that I wanted to use the beads for her eyes. Um, I use the sun, glittery sunglasses sometimes just because I think they're cute and they're on some of the other princesses that I'm doing. Um, I really don't use the googly eyes because I think they just look goofy on the princesses. But okay, so what you want to do is to so do the eye, you're going to put a band through your bead. Now what I do is I use the wire from a twist tie, make it into a V, put the band on the V, then you take the two um, pieces, two ends of the wire, and you stick them through the hole in the bead like a tether. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. So you're going to put it through. You're going to pull. And there you go. Easy peasy. Okay, so now I have my bands through my beads, and I am going to stick my hook from the back to the front, like this, right under her hair. I'm gonna grab one end of my band and pull it through to the back. Then I'm gonna put that band on my hook, like this. And I'm gonna bring the hook and I'm gonna put it through 
from the back through the center row, center column, the seam row across to the front. I'm going to grab the other side and I'm going to try to show this as best I can. So you're going to grab this side of the eye like that. You're going to put that band over and then you're going to pull it back through. Whoops, I lost it. See? Okay. Pull it through to the back. There we go. So now I have both pieces of rubber band on the back. And um, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Sometimes I tie them or I pull them back through as a button loop, but I think today I'm going to C-clip them together because sometimes when you loop it back around, you see it on the small beads. So I'm going to C-clip it on the back. And you can use the same C-clip for the other eye. So there's her eye. Um, so, you can make it a little lower, just kind of move it around with your hands. All right, so there's one eye. So I've done one eye and part of our skirt. So let's just, in the interest of time here, just show you how to do the hair. Now the way I do the hair is I go to the back and I take that bottom row here um, of the black for the hair and I'm gonna stick my hook through. I'm gonna pull one, uh, one single black band through one of the black pieces in the back, like that. And then I'm going to slip knot it on. Like that. Okay, so that's what it looks like on the back. Then I pull it through to the front. So you're just going to go through the side. And this is not an exact science because the rubber bands are kind of crazy. So you're just gonna pull it through. Sorry, it's hard to show. I'm gonna pull it through to the front like that. See now it's kind of sticking up crazy. So um, I'm gonna actually take it through this edge band in the front, the very edge and pull it through there and see if it'll go down. And it didn't. So now I'm gonna go one more band in See if that works a little bit better. That's a little bit better. Oops, and now I moved my bands around so I have to fix that. Um, so again, now I'm gonna pull it back through this front one. See if I can get it to go down. All right, so you're just gonna um, do the hair like that to give her some long hair. And you're gonna do that twice on each side. And that'll give, um, there, that looks a little bit better. That'll give the long hair. Um, then for the bow, you're gonna need, um, you're gonna need four red bands. Um, so uh, what you wanna do is, you're gonna go across the middle of her, the middle column of hair up here so you're gonna pull this hook through the front, pull the red band to the back, and then keep your red band on the hook, put it back through the other side of the center column to the front, pull the other end of the red band back through to the back, so it looks like that, okay? Then you're gonna C-clip it. Oops. C-clip it in the back. There we go. Like that. Okay, so that's what it looks like in the back. And that's what it looks like in the front. Then you're going to take two more red bands. And you're basically going to go from the back to the front on the one side of the center. And you're going to go through. Hold on. Through the two Band. So you're in between with it, and you're going to pull a rubber band back through to the back. There you go. And then you're going to put that on the C-clip as well.
without losing the one in the front. There it goes. Okay. So that's on the C clip. And then in the front, you're going to take that piece, get it down here, and you're going to hook that one back through the back like that. Okay? Again, attach it to the C clip. In the back. So now you've got two rubber bands, so four pieces on the C clip. You're going to do the same thing on this side of the headband. And then the last thing you're going to do is you're going to make a bow. You're going to take the rubber band, you're going to go under the center here, pull it back through, and then you are going to put your finger there and tie the rubber band around your finger so it makes a bow, just like that. And then you do the other side of the headband the same way. So let me finish it up and I'll show you what it's like when it's done. All right, and here's Snow White all finished up. I put on the rest of her skirt and both of her bead eyes. I have uh, four rubber bands total for her long hair and um, I finished up her red bow. So there you go, I hope you like my princess and um, check out my channel because I did uh, takes on other princesses and um, uh, a fairy that looks like Tinkerbell. Thanks.